Digital Homicide is back at it again with their their Steam shenanigans, and we're going to just take a look. We're just going to see what this studio has been up to. If you guys don't know who Digital Homicide is, it's the guys that are currently in a lawsuit with Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling did a video on their game, The Slaughtering Grounds. They didn't like it. It caused a huge tiff. And ever since then, Jim Sterling has been covering their games in tandem, doing first impressions, reviews of all of their games. And they don't like that. They don't like that he is very critical. They don't like that he is brutally honest. So they decided to sue him. Isn't that some shit? So I'm scrolling through the Steam store looking for something that I can cover on the channel and I see this game called Paranormal Psychosis and I see the thumbnail and instantly I know that it's digital fucking homicide. So you go to their studio page and you can just see what the fuck these guys have been doing for the last few months. In the last two months they have released seven games five of which end up on the Steam store on the exact same day. All of them reviewed mostly negative. Do you guys see a pattern with this studio? It's almost as if every fucking game they release is complete and utter trash. But then you look down here and you see these two bundles here. So you have the bundle discount pack and the mega sale pack. What they're trying to do and this is how Steam refunds work. If I want to refund a bundle, I have to make sure that the entire bundle has less than two hours playtime within all the titles. So combine. So if I play five minutes of each of these games, I might be good. But the uneducated consumer doesn't probably know that. So they're going to buy this, they're going to try one game, maybe play 20 minutes, try another game, play 20 minutes, try another game, play 20 minutes. There's like 10 fucking games in each of these packs. There is no way if you want to try every one before you decide to refund that, that you'd be able to do it if you kept on a 20 minute time basis. What they're trying to do, in my opinion, is make it so you... You try all the games and then you, you go over that two hour limit and you can't refund any of the bundles. Because you look at these games, they're like 54 cents a piece. For me, I'm going to pick up Paranormal Psychosis, which you guys are going to see my first impressions in a little bit here. I picked up the game and I'm probably not going to like it. Yeah, I, you guys could say that I'm going in biased. I just know that everything these guys touch, in my opinion, is complete shit. And I would refund it just based on principle because these guys don't deserve a fucking dime. If you guys are buying these games, this is funding their lawsuit against a fellow YouTuber. So there's the situation. We have a spam developer throwing shit on the wall just trying to see what sticks. And let's see if it's stuck, huh? Paranormal Psychosis, let's jump into it. <laughs> this title screen is fucked. <laughs> okay, the horse is invisible. Are they ghost horses? Who's this? Okay. Um. Oh my god, this looks trash. Um. <laughs> oh my god, this is so shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. It's so bad, it's fucking hilarious. There's clipping issues with the lighting. Like, the, everything's transparent. Look at this. Holy fuck, dude. You spot a chainsaw down the hill. I feel like I'm probably not supposed to be walking over here. Oh yeah, tree clippage, yes! Oh yes, this game is... Whew, this is some top-notch work. I'd rather play this over Fallout for sure. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Where's my ammo? Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm out of ammo? I'm out of ammo, fuck it. Alright, what happens if I die? <laughs> hmm. 
I'm stuck here now, so I don't think I can die. Yeah, stuck on the rocks, dude. So, hard to restart. Oh, I think the best part about the game is the female on the cover. I can't even exit because it doesn't even show my mouse anymore. So that's fucking glorious, dude. Game of the fucking year.